In order to pulse MIG weld with your ProPulse 220 MTS, you have to install 100% argon gas, uh, flow rates, drive rolls, everything discussed in the previous uh, hardware setup video. So now let's go into the software setup. You press your program button and you select for 5356. You need to run 035 wire diameter on this machine, either in 5356 or in 4043. Both of those have options for three programs. A PAW program, precision aluminum welding for very thin auto body thickness material, um, a pulse and a double pulse program. This is on 4043. These same programs exist here in 5356. PAW, pulse, and double pulse. Either one of those programs, you can select it, and then you see your material thickness here, your wire feed rate here, your arc voltage there, your predicted amperage over there. Your, um, the reason why you would wanna use pulse instead of just straight spray arc is, it gives you the ability, especially in the PAW program, to weld very thin material on aluminum. It also gives you better control over the weld pool. And uh, the double pulse program will give you improved looks of the weld, as well as significantly reduced heat input, warpage and distortion on the base metal. Any of those programs has the following options, your start speed and your start time. If you're in MIG 2T, um, your start speed on aluminum with pulse always needs to be at 100%. Your start time needs to be at 0.1 in order to not have any hot start. If you wish to have hot start, you dial this up all the way up to two seconds or anywhere in between. This time here, double that time is the hot start time. In this case, you would have four total seconds of hot start on your um, aluminum weld. So when you pull the trigger, the first two seconds, you will see 30% more amperage than um, you see right now. For the next two seconds, it will taper from 30% over to your welding current. And then after that, you're at your welding current. Then... Um, for right now, I'm gonna take hot start off. Your burn back is the length of the stick out after you're done welding. Your pinch takes the ball off the end. Since aluminum is a very soft wire, especially 4043, you need to watch out not to set your pinch too high because pinch over 70 will for sure result in not just throwing a molten ball, but also throwing about half inch of stick out, of wire stick out into your weld pool, into your weld puddle and may cause a burn back. Your T2 slope down time is a slope down slash crater fill option at the end. After you let go of the trigger, the machine still runs for whatever amount this timer says as it's sloping down and reducing settings as it goes. You have a pre-gas and a post-gas selector, and you can switch your machine over from standard to metric.